Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, or welcome back if you have seen a few of these. I have kind of a different video today, one that I am sort of nervous to make. I really just don't know what to expect. Um, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Eyes closed, head first, can't lose. But um, earlier this week, and maybe I'm just a little bit late to this game, um, I heard that James Charles released like a bald prank video or he like posted on his Instagram him with his bald head and I was intrigued. I mean, I'm super skeptical honestly going into this like I feel like it's just not gonna be good, but um I mean, hey, I give him the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully this isn't a disaster. Hopefully this is a good fun you know uplifting video but we shall see <laughs> um i mean in case you couldn't tell i am a bald person i don't want to go like too much into my backs or whatever because like that's not what this video is about but basically i've had alopecia for 12 years been a baldy for more than half my life um so yeah being bald is like part of who i am and like it's something that I've had a lot of time to process and accept so like for me it's just a normal part of my life but I know a lot of people who are bald or balding or whatever you know maybe aren't at the same place as I am and I mean don't get me wrong I still have my days where I'm like this sucks but <laughs> but no I feel like I mean having 12 years to get used to something like it's basically just a normal part of my life now. So I figured I would maybe react to this video. I haven't seen it, I don't know anything about it. Normally, bald pranks and like videos like this are pretty offensive and like not helpful to the bald community. Um, but who knows, maybe he has some positive representation in here. I mean, I love bald jokes as much as the next person. I make them all the time. I feel like there is a line that just like shouldn't be crossed sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, so hopefully this isn't super cringe, but we shall see. And I'm not the greatest at editing, so I don't know if I'll be able to figure out how to put like this video up at the same time as reacting to it. But I'm, I have it here on my computer, so I might just play it. Anyways, I'm just gonna get into it, because I've been talking for way too long. Okay, we are off to a really bad start. <laughs> the intro is just like, compares him with like an alien dude. Ah, okay, I don't like that. I mean, it's kind of funny, but like, maybe not. Today's YouTube video, we're gonna be spending 24 hours bald to see what it's like. Hmm. Okay, so I just watched the intro. Um and it's so far it's not that bad. Like it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like I still don't like how he's setting this up as like a prank, but like I feel like it would have been so much better if he had like done like, "Hey, I'm doing this educational and informative video about like what it's like to be bald for 24 hours you know like i feel like that would have been better i just labeling it as a prank like just really irks me today's video is going to be uh, done by yours truly and i will not be shaving my head as much as i'm sure a lot of you guys would like to yeah see. i kind of figured that he basically just said like he's not shaving his head he's gonna use a bald cap and everybody was like oh my god like did he shave his head or like they couldn't decide or whether or not it was a bald cap and i feel like for a bald person <laughs> It was like for me it was so obvious that it was a bald cap. I don't know because even like I don't know if you can see but like on my head Like even if you shave it like down to the root which I literally did like this morning You can still see like where the hair follicles are versus like where the hair loss is and like his Bald look was basically like it all just like like this but like because he still has hair like his head would have looked like that if he shaped it anyways but alas 
My hair is my number one source of confidence. Not my skin, not how good my makeup looks, not my outfit, it's my hair. Like if I'm having a bad hair day, I feel so, so ugly, no matter how good or bad everything else is looking. It's like crazy to me. So the fact that I am not going to be losing my hair for a day, I feel like that was kind of an interesting point that he brought up about like how like much his self-confidence stems from his hair and I think that like our society like doesn't realize how much value like we place on our hair and how much our hair is tied in with our identity like and I feel like that's something you don't notice until you don't have it which is like yeah, it's just so random. But he was just saying that like if he has a bad hair day, it like wrecks his entire mood and like I feel you. <laughs> Imagine how you would feel dealing with a, the hair loss for like however many years, but yeah, I know. I feel like it just goes to show like societal beauty standards of be whack. <laughs> the bald cap is actually looking like pretty good so far. I feel like as much as Everybody talks shit about James Charles and like has criticisms and maybe they have a right to I don't know I don't really watch his stuff, but I feel like you can't deny that he's talented like he's good at makeup and like good at all this stuff Okay, so at this point I think it's time to set it in place now. So transition powder time, Laura Mercier It's actually crazy like how realistic he got this to be like if you were fully bald like I think he did a really good job in like blending the edges and stuff and I mean so far like a good job on the makeup front yeah okay so I think we're starting to get into more of the prank side of the video which I'm starting to get a little uneasy but hopefully it's not that bad oh should I answer it oh my god wait okay wait film this ready oh. <laughs> hi oh my goodness what's up Wow, you look so pretty. Thank you. I love your hair. I know. I just, I just needed a change. Something different. Oh, that looks great. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay. Okay. At first, I was so nervous because, like, when James answered the phone, like, this Charlie D'Amelio person, I think she's a TikTok person, um, like, starts laughing, and I was like, oh, no, this is not going to be good. But then, actually, like, later throughout the call, like, she's saying that, like, oh, you look really good, that kind of thing. So I'm like, okay, props, props to you. So far, so good. Like, I guess, like, I get the laughing because, like, anybody would just be shocked if somebody randomly turned up bald. That's good, though. Her reaction seems to be okay so far. But I feel like I can, like, rock it. I like how you have a great head shape. <laughs> I can really... <laughs> That is like literally the most common thing that like a bald person hears is like, oh my god, you have such a great head shape. It's like, that's just so weird, but like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, for some reason, that's like literally the first compliment that everybody or every bald person gets. See, I think the thing that is bugging me the most is the people he has in the background who are maybe like filming him or like his friends or I don't know who they are, but like with them just constantly laughing, I don't know, like I feel like that to me is just, yeah, I don't, I don't like that vibe. Oh, his makeup does look fire though. <laughs> I wish I had that talent. But yeah, with the outfit and the makeup, like he looks good. I'm I'm into this look. I'm into it. Uh, we made our dinner reservations for seven o'clock, so we have to leave here in about thirty minutes. So I figured before we leave, I should FaceTime some of my friends and get the reactions to my new hair do. Okay, I'm worried about this part. Do you want to come with us? I shaved my head. It's not even filled. Oh my god, okay, so Drew Scott is the first one that he calls, and I'm actually really disappointed in his reaction. I, his first word was ew, and yeah, not a, not my favorite, which it makes me sad because I actually watch his videos. Like, he does a lot of cool, like, interior design videos, I think, but yeah, I mean, maybe it'll get better if I keep watching, but not a fan of that reaction. I wanted to try out a new hairstyle, so I shaved my head. What do you think? Bitch, you look like a gay Voldemort. Okay, as potentially hurtful as the comment could be, it was actually pretty funny. Not gonna lie. I feel like I do a lot of Voldemort jokes for myself and lots of Squidward jokes, you know, but um, yeah, so far, 
this was the part of the video that I was really not looking forward to and it's yeah it's kind of bad so far not gonna lie like it's basically just like having everybody laugh at like him being bald and like I get it's a shock factor kind of thing but like if I was like an impressionable like younger kid like with alopecia I feel like I would just feel so bad like watching this portion of the video yeah I feel like like younger kids or people who are just like newly starting out with hair loss I feel like this could be pretty damaging for a lot of people this is wild okay some of these reactions but yeah I don't know how I feel about it like they're not mm, they're not that bad but I, st I just don't like the like the concept of this weird things like that hey I shaved it off Oh my god, okay, this person, I like this person. <laughs> Lauren something, I think the name said on the screen. Wait, yes, girl, bald is beautiful. <laughs> hey, Gorge. Just wanted to let you know I'm probably gonna have to cancel my next hair appointment. Oh my god. Do you like it? Yeah, I shaved my head today. I liked his burpers reaction. It was like, there's literally no way. But yeah, because I feel like every, any person who is bald or, you know, like, they know that it's not real. But anyways. Hey, Jace. Oh, Dave. Love the new haircut. Oh. Okay, guys, so we are here at dinner to bring our lovely little Caesar salads. And our plan is officially in action. All brought to you by Olympics and Kevin Long. Oh, is this a new... I wonder if he had to like set up the paparazzi to be there. <laughs> if he had to be like, hey, I'm doing this video. Can you come find me at this restaurant? I don't know. I didn't really think that paparazzi followed James Charles, but maybe they do. I don't know. But that'd be really funny if he had to like call the paparazzi and be like, hey, this is where I'm going to be at this exact time. Show up, please. <laughs> this photo? You can't believe that that's not the most gorgeous photo you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> oh my God. Why are we actually living for this whole bubble? Okay, I I didn't like the friend's reaction part of this video, but I like how James is like living for this look. I don't know, bald can be a look. Literally so much has happened in the past few hours and myself and the team cannot stop cracking up. This is the funniest thing that you've ever done. <laughs> oh, you almost had me. You almost had me. Because at the restaurant, he was like, yes, serving looks, loving this vibe. And then now it's just like, this is all just a big joke. Before I end off today's video as well, I did mention in the intro that my hair is a huge source of confidence for me and without my hair I would feel so ugly. But, I have to tell you guys, I honestly have felt beautiful all day long. This video was a lot of fun because it's a hilarious prank to pull on you guys, but I honestly feel so cute and so gorgeous, like bald. I've gotten so many different texts from my friends saying that they low-key actually really, really like it. And honestly, looking in the mirror, I really do too. Okay, some of the things that he said at the end, I was like, okay, that's good. He talked about like it was a good personal growth day. But then he was like, it's a really fun prank to play on you guys. And I'm like, bald is not a prank. Like, real people <laughs> experience this every day of their lives. Like, they don't have a choice to, you know, just put their hair back on. Well, actually, technically they do because of wigs. But, like, you know, it's not the same. It's not the same. We can't just, like, rip off and, like, our natural hair comes out, you know? Like, I feel like it's a very traumatizing thing to experience hair loss and like a lot of people are still like right in the trauma hair loss is like a really traumatic experience for most people like who go through it and making it a prank or like a joke is like not cool but like oh, i hate 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 these prank videos because they're just a lot of times so damaging like for like bald people watching them and i mean like I felt like, for me, it was fun. Like, I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm so offended by this. Like, I'm a slightly offended, but I feel like after I stop filming this video, like, I'm not gonna think about it ever again. Like, it's not gonna affect my life, you know? Just videos like this in general are not doing anything to help the bald community. I mean, though, there were, like, some of the things he said, like, were good. Like, he said that he felt really beautiful and, like, really confident bald, which I think is good. Um to show but I feel like there are just so many other people who are like 
actually bald in real life who are putting out like hair loss alopecia like content or whatever who are like so cool and doing so much to help normalize baldness and you know really uplift <laughs> uplift the bald community and this is just not it this is not it it wasn't as horrendous as i thought it was gonna be but still not my vibe not into it yeah i guess moral of the story is don't prank your friends with being bald <laughs> <laughs> and think about what you do before you do it but also that if you do want to rock the bald look go for it like you might be surprised that like how much you like it and yeah and also just bald people are real people and <laughs> like I don't know like as much as it's like fun to joke around and stuff like it is actually a really heavy thing to go through honestly I feel like hair loss is something that like when you think of it you just think of like old men but no hair loss is so common like among youth and women and I feel like it's just not talked about enough so um this maybe isn't the best role model to look up to for that kind of thing but I think that it is cool to like start conversations like about baldness in women and youth and just because yeah, it's just something that is not talked about enough as it should be. Because like literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people suffer with hair loss. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I don't know what other thoughts to add to this. I feel like afterwards I'm going to be like, oh my god, I should have said this and I should have said this. But because I feel like there is kind of a lot to unpack here. Um, standard English major response, but... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I'm like, I'm leaning towards that I didn't like it, but not all of it was bad, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully you come back for more, to subscribe maybe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there will be lots more of my bald head. Bye.